Brr, sure is cold, even for January. Dear Tim and Moby, it's freezing outside. Whatever happened to global warming? From Walter. Hi, Walter. Global warming is about the average temperature across the entire planet. We've been tracking that number every year for more than a century. Since then, it's climbed by about one and a half degrees Fahrenheit. Ah! Uh, no. A warming planet doesn't mean there won't be any cold days. Or that there won't be any more snowstorms. Or even that your town can't have a cooler summer than usual. Those are all examples of weather. What's going on outside in one place at one particular time? Global warming is a change in the world's climate, the pattern of weather over long periods. Each of these yearly temperature readings is an example of weather. They're kind of all over the place. We can't predict if one year will be hotter or colder than the next. But the overall trend is unmistakable. That is global warming. It's caused by certain gases in our atmosphere. The more of these gases there are, the hotter the planet gets. When sunlight hits the Earth, land and water soak up some of that energy. A lot more reflects off the surface as heat. Gases like carbon dioxide and methane act as a barrier. They're really effective at absorbing and redirecting heat. That's why we call them greenhouse gases. Like a greenhouse, they let sunlight through easily, then trap the heat that bounces off the surface. This is known as the greenhouse effect. Without it, our planet would be a cold, lifeless rock. Until recently, natural processes kept the level of greenhouse gases just right. But human activity is throwing off this delicate balance. Our modern world depends on burning fossil fuels. Coal, oil, and gas supply the energy that makes our lives so comfortable and convenient. But they release huge amounts of carbon dioxide, a powerful greenhouse gas. Large-scale food production is another source. We keep billions of cows and other livestock for meat and dairy. Their digestion produces methane. It traps 20 times more heat than carbon dioxide. The problem isn't only about adding greenhouse gases. We're also destroying Earth's ability to remove those gases from the air. Chopping down forests, for example, the average tree absorbs 50 pounds of carbon dioxide each year. As we cut them down, we lose their natural cooling effect. And in many places, forests are cleared through burning. That releases all the stored up carbon back into the air. Right, industry and agriculture are amplifying the greenhouse effect. The result is rapid warming. Earth's climate has changed before. We know that from studying air bubbles trapped in ancient ice. The ice cores tell us that the temperature continually rises and falls. In other words, Earth's climate is constantly changing. Ah, but there's a difference. This natural rate of climate change has been slow. A shift of a couple degrees ordinarily takes thousands of years. That gives organisms time to adapt to changing conditions. One species might move to a milder climate, and another could evolve new traits. Man-made warming is moving way too fast for life to keep up with it. At this rate, thousands of species will go extinct by the end of the century. Yeah, one or two degrees may not seem like much. But our planet is a fragile, living system, just like the human body. Raising temperatures even a couple of degrees can have a huge impact. Our oceans are currently absorbing most of the additional warmth. This is destroying coral reefs that are home to thousands of species. The polar ice caps are melting, causing sea levels to rise. That'll be an enormous problem for coastal cities. Yep, in many parts of the world, ice is a major part of the water supply. As mountain glaciers melt, these places will experience more droughts and food shortages. 
Plus, rising temperatures lead to extreme weather patterns. Simply put, warmer air has more energy. That means stronger storms and hurricanes, not to mention heavier rainfall and floods. In some places, it will mean more severe blizzards. In other regions, rainfall will dry up and forests will turn to desert. That's why many scientists prefer the term global climate change over global warming. Because temperature alone may not be the most noticeable effect. I know, it's a pretty scary situation. But there are solutions. Individually, you can help by conserving energy. Like by walking or biking instead of getting a ride to places. By using more efficient light bulbs and switching them off when you leave a room. And even taking shorter showers. The most important step is that we move away from fossil fuels. Renewable energies like solar and wind add no carbon to the atmosphere. That's why countries are investing in these technologies like never before. Hey, you know what? The answer to everything isn't lasers. Let's hear the laser idea.